Hey, I'm Alex Timmerman. I'm a manufacturing engineer here at System76. And today I'm going to be walking you through our two lasers. These machines cut the keyholes for launch, as well as the chassis for our Thalia line. Here we're in front of the uh, Photonics IPG laser cube. We use it uh, for cutting the keyholes on launch because it has a camera attached to it. So that allows us to locate features that we CNC machine into our launch upper housing. And then based off those features, the laser knows, okay, here's where the key set goes. We also use it to cut the extrusions for the cases that go on the Thaleo uh, desktops. Here at the Trump, the first difference you'll notice between this machine and the IPG is the size of the machine itself. On this machine, we're able to cut four foot by eight foot sheets, whereas on the IPG, we're cutting four foot by four foot sheets. Another major difference between this machine and the IPG is that we're able to punch holes and other shapes into our sheet metal. Both of these machines are commercially available. Our laser cube is made by IPG Photonics, and our Trumatic is made by Trump. Both our Trump and IPG lasers are three kilowatt lasers. However, they do come in different power ranges. As far as what materials we cut, uh, we cut aluminum and steel on the IPG as well as on the Trump. And most of the aluminum we cut is 5052. On both the IPG and the Trump, we're cutting both aluminum and steel. Most of what we cut is 5052 aluminum. Um, so things like our chassis are made out of 5052 aluminum, um, right around 14 gauge. And then steel we use for our magnets on our keyboards. I know you might be wondering this, can either of these lasers cut through a banana? And it most definitely can. I just don't know how you would program that. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a banana sleeve. All of the metal that we cut here at System 76 is sourced locally from Colorado suppliers. Once we're done cutting our chassis out of the sheet, the remainder of the sheet gets folded up and recycled locally. On the IPG and on the Trump, we use both a combination of compressed air, which is supplied by our two compressors, as well as nitrogen. And the reason we use nitrogen is because typically on a laser, it will give you a cleaner cut. So on a feature like our solar system, on the back of our Thaleo chassis here, um, this solar system has a lot of tight corners that would be hard to deburr um, if it was cut on oxygen. So therefore on this feature specifically, we use nitrogen to cut. And that prevents us from building burrs up on the back edge of the feature. Most of what we cut on the Trump and the IPG are for our desktop machines. However, we also do cut our lower housings for our launch keyboard on the Trump. And that gets hybrid processed with the Haas CNC. So the Trump will cut out a blank and then that blank gets transferred over to the CNC to cut out some additional features needed for launch. Also on the IPG, we'll have hybrid processing in the sense that our CNC'd uppers, so these guys, will get CNC'd milled and then brought over to the IPG to cut out all the keyholes. When it comes to programming for both the IPG and the Trump, we'll start off with a flat pattern. And then we'll bring in that flat pattern into their respective softwares, be it in the form of a step file or a DXF. And then once we're in the software, we'll program the punching pattern in the case of the Trump, as well as the laser pattern, or in the case of the IPG, just the laser pattern. And then we'll export that in the form of G-code. Once we have the G-code, we'll bring that in on a flashy drive or via the network. And then from there, it's just a matter of pulling the G-code in, positioning your laser and hitting start. Both 
Both the IPG and the Trump have clamps for holding on to the material. On the Trump, they are hydraulic, so they actuate by themselves. On the IPG here, we have these manual clamps, and then we can shift and move and position into whatever position we need it for to hold on to the material that we're working with. If you enjoyed today's video, or if you have any questions, please do leave us a comment in the comment section down below. What you got there, Robo? A limited edition System76 bottle opener? If you reside in the US and would like an opportunity to win this limited edition bottle opener, please do leave us a comment down below. The winner will be selected in a week. Thanks for watching. Bye.